In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can import our SketchUp model into Ecotech and how we can adjust it, what we can do on our model and what we cannot do and accordingly. This tutorial was requested by Apita. So let's go ahead with it. This is our SketchUp model. In this one, we have made three blocks. So first one is ground floor. Second one is first floor. And then we have the third one, which is a block basically, but the facade of the block has been changed into a freehand uh, using a freehand tool. So we have a, uh, a curved facade, which is not plainly curved. So basically, the our rooms are made over here. But what we do, we we change the rooms into blocks, so, and each block is made a component so we have this three components over here room one room two and room three so this is room one this is room two and then this is room three so remember these are single walled zones with uh, zones which you have to create which will go so each model should be uh, changed and you make blocks inside the rooms which are thermal zones and accordingly so here we are going to make a simple roof just to show how it is created so we are making a, tri a triangular roof and don't forget to change the, the faces reverse the faces of the uh, component make it a component and then we will extrude it to the dimension we need we call it roof So we can create anything and it should be single line. So all and it's important also to name it properly. So the same names will go into it. So this is our roof. Also, there is a window is created over here. Now what we have done for the window is just select the block, make the make a make a window and assign it a material of a class. So this is our model. Let's uh, import it. Let's export it to our Ecotet and let's see what happens. So we'll go to File and then Export and 3D Model. So out of all these uh, formats, we will select 3DS format. Let's put it on Desktop. So export is done. Let's open our Ecotech and import it, file, import and 3D CAD geometry. So out of this, we'll select 3DS model, choose file, we'll select our file, make it open. So here we can see our file over here. Let's see, is it complete? Is it correctly? Yes, it is fine. You can see different dimensions, different uh, elevations. Now the important thing is you need to select this auto merge. So all the triangles which you have on the facades, if they are coplanar, they will be merged together. If you don't click this one, there will be a lot of triangles and it will be very difficult to uh, modify and add some things. So let's check the auto merge. Second thing is to scale the building. Although in Ecotech we have adjusted our units to be meter, but still when you are exporting, uh, from uh, SketchUp, our SketchUp uh, units per meter, we have to click this one to convert from meters to millimeters. So it will use a multiple of 1000. It will constitute, and then we will get our models. So here are the names of the blocks room 1, room 2, room 3. We have an extra also, and then um, uh, an additional one is added at the end of each uh, of the files the names so this is important to select zone and give it zone by name so what happens each zone will be called with the same name as it was named in uh, sketchup during during making components so let's import that into existing so here is our model uh, which has come and we are viewing it in 3d editor mode so when you bring it over here the first thing you need to do is to check the dimension so any dimension one of it just check it is it correct or not correct if it is not correct you need to check uh, for the scaling option which we used from meter to millimeter so here we have the visualize we are visualizing our project 
so everything has been imported in correctly now we go to our zones and let's see what why we have one extra zone over here one extra element is being shown so let's see it in our 3d editor mode so here we select it we can see that the window is actually in another material which has been extra on the ground floor so this is the reason which i i recommend that not to make the windows on uh, on the sketchup although it was made in the same as a component but over here it came as a different uh, entity so it will be it's better over here so to make it over here so now we remove the window so what happened a void came over there so void is not as same as window it's a void so we need to create windows over here so what we will do let's keep it closed as it is and we will try to make window in ecotect ourselves so let's go to the back side of the block let's create clicking at the corner space bar to change the location the, the selection we can make windows from here either or by cli clicking insert on our keyboard so let's make it one meter each let's insert it so there is our window let's visualize it yes fine we can see it so let's create a shading over here we will go to plan view and we create our shade over here let's create it for 1 meter it will auto snap to the uh, dimensions so we will not create for last the last click is escape you can see it in our 3d we can uh, we, other thing is we can move it by selecting it and by single click and then using the move tool we can move it we can also place it anywhere else we want to do we have uh, this is a good thing that we can create louvers over here we can create uh, shading devices uh, especially detailed shading devices like uh, shape of the louvers or uh, shading devices which are uh, which which are difficult to make we can make any everything over here so the thing is to bring a basic model from sketchup and then we can modify it more over here how 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 we want to modify it So we can control C and control V and by making this one we can have another entity and we can place it wherever we want to place it. So it is our shade which we created over here. This is our building, the other one which the facade, now what Ecotas does is doesn't bring it very uh, clean over here, instead it divides us into small uh, straight lines and, um, and makes it a uh, curve. So let's try to change it into glass. So we are selecting over here uh, the glass portion, the curved portion in front of it. We will go to the, our materials and instead of wall we will give it window with double glass timber frame. Selecting and apply. Let's go and see it in visualize. Good. The material has come. So it is now glass all the front the curved portions likewise we can do it for the other parts also selecting the wall going to materials so instead of a wall we select window double glass frame apply selecting the other wall again doing the same thing timber and apply we can visualize it we can see all the walls which we selected and we are converted them into windows so let's turn on the shading and let's see how the shades are interacting with uh, with our model 
so we can see over here we can see the, the the form of the glass the facade is affecting the shadow casted by it and how the shadow is casted inside so this is this will be a good thing when we are doing shadow analysis especially for the buildings which have very dynamic shape to make it on sketchup and then bring it into ecotech especially for the uh, shadow analysis daylight factor and how much light and radiance using so this will be a very good uh, option to use it also we can see for the rest of the model also it is working well glass and the shades are coming correctly this is an example uh, of a project where there was a curved uh, facade and there were rovers so actually two models were made one was to calculate the show, uh, show the daylight factor and these things and uh, the louvers were used so the second model was made which was totally made in ecotech no no uh, import no import from other uh, softwares to have more precise thermal calculations and these curves were reduced into blocks the volume was kept same so you can see from all the angles i hope this is uh, done we are done over here and this is all we can do i would like you to post any comments anything you have about it or you want to ask anything further we can do it I will try to comment on it and try to make a tutorial out of it. Uh, my only suggestion, my advice will be to make, try to make it everything as much as possible in Ecotech, especially when doing thermal analysis. Thank you so much.